This is probably the last problem I'm gonna have time to film, at least today, uh, cause I need to go to sleep, but I still gotta film some problems for the AMC 12 so I can make the AMC 12 takers happy as well. And I haven't even got any of the individual AMC 12 problems started. So for 21 to 25, you might have to wait a couple days. Oh, maybe even not till Sunday. We'll see what we can do. I got work later today. So 2022 AMC 10A problem 20, a four term sequence is formed by adding each term of a four term arithmetic sequence of positive integers. So I'm gonna start with that. I'm gonna have X, X plus D, X plus 2D, and X plus 3D. Okay, uh, to the corresponding term of a four term geometric sequence of positive integers. So we'll line these up. We'll have Y, Y, R, Y, R squared, Y, R cubed. Just basic knowledge of those sequences. Um, the first three terms of the resulting four term sequence are 57, 60, and 91. What is the fourth term of this sequence? Now, I thought about moving this sequence underneath here because then I would have four sequentially placed sequence. I don't even know. All right, but it'd be kind of crazy, right? It's just weird to have the board lined up like that. And I was like, this should go here. It needs, because there's four terms, four, I don't even know. Weird, right? Okay, so uh, let's go. X plus Y, the sum of these two must be 57. So I'll call this equation one, x plus y equals 57. Equation two is going to be x plus d plus y r, and it needs to equal 60. And equation three will be x plus 2d plus y r squared, and it needs to equal 91. At this point, you have, let's see, uh, four, three equations and four unknowns, but maybe we can figure some stuff out. So we're just gonna try and see what happens. Um, we're gonna take equation two and subtract equation one. If we do that, we will get D plus Y R minus Y is equal to three. Um, okay. And then I'm gonna take equation three and subtract equation two. If I do that, the X's cancel out. 2D minus D is D. I will get D plus Y R squared. This Y R squared minus Y R is equal to 91 minus 60, which is 31. Now I'm gonna take this and subtract this. Why? I don't know. We're just trying to go quick and combine things in different ways. Um, I think I wanna take this one minus that one because it'll make the D's cancel and YR squared minus YR. So now we have YR squared minus YR and I've got negative YR minus Y. No, minus a negative Y, because you're subtracting a negative, so it's actually plus Y. And then this will equal 28. Now I can factor a Y out of that. And if I do, I will get R squared minus 2R plus 1. And immediately you see that, and this is kind of a breadcrumb. When you get a nice factorization, like a perfect square trinomial, that's them sending you a little breadcrumb to say you're on the right path, okay? So y times r minus one squared is going to equal 28. Now, this is kind of a significant conclusion, I call it. Once you're at a significant conclusion, there's not a lot more you can do. Go back and read the words and look for things. So first, we have uh, positive integers in both sequences. So we know that Y is a positive integer. Uh, we know that X is a positive integer. Um, since Y is a positive integer, it must be a factor of 28. Okay. Um, if you think about it, your options are, you need a perfect square though for the other one. So I need a perfect square to go here. What are the only perfect squares to go into 28? You could have four and seven or one and 28. Uh, if you try to do seven with four, then you're making R what? Three? 
3 minus 1 being 2 squared is 4, and y would be 7. Let's try that one first. Uh, you don't know what x is yet, but you're saying that y is 7. If you say that y is 7, then x is 50. And then if r is 3, this is going to be 21. Okay, because you're times 3. R, 3 minus 1 is 2. 3, could r be negative? No, because it would make your second term negative. So uh, 3 minus 1, 2, 2 squared, 4, y taking the role of 7. Um, if this was to keep going, what would y r squared be? It would be 3 times this, which is 63. Now, what would the x plus d have to be in order for this to work? Well, again, we know what it is. We know it's 60. And we're saying that y r is this, 21, so x plus d would have to be 39. But that would mean that the d value is negative. Is that a problem? Well, let's check. Uh, it doesn't say it's increasing anywhere. It just says it's positive. So as long as we, though we're subtracting 11, stay positive, which is a good advice for life as well, uh, then we'll be okay. 39 minus 11 is 28. Subtract 11 again to get 17. Now, here's where you can tell if you're doing it right. If it's right, add these. You get 91. This is it. Uh, 63 times 3 is 189 for that final term. We take 17 because we're looking for this term, which is the 17 value, and 189, and we add them. You will add 11 to get to 200, and you got six more to add. That puts you at E206. Now, is there, would this have worked? Let's say it did work. Guess what? If it works, and this also works, they got to produce the same answer, okay? Because if they produce different answers, the question's invalid, right? So then we go back and check it, though, just to curiosity, maybe wondering, if y is 28 and this expression's going to come out 1, r could not be 0, because that would mean we don't get positive integer here, but r could be 2. So you'd be saying that y is 28 and r is 2. So that would make this 56 and then like 112. Here, x would be 30, 29. And then what would it have to be here? 4. You're going down by 25 to do that. 4 plus 56 making the 60 for the second one. If you did it again, you'd go into the negatives. We don't want that. It's E, 206. I'm going to go film the AMC 12 problems, and I'll try to get those later AMC 10 ones when I have time.